All right, guys, what is up? And welcome back to episode four of our Atlanta Braves franchise. As you can see, this season has really just been a lot of simming. Uh, honestly, I did try to play some games, but again, my PS4 was really acting weird and like spitting the discs out in the middle of the game. And it did that in like three or so games that I was playing. So I kind of just got annoyed with it and I just started simming. But anyway, we are in August here. We're about halfway through August. Um, and we only really have, uh, you know, a month and a half of the season left, really, maybe a little bit more. Um, we are sitting, we're actually third in the division right now, 11 and a half games back, really tied with the Marlins here. Uh, the season has actually gone a lot better than I thought it would be, you know, it would be going. I thought we would be sitting, you know, what the Phillies are or where they are or maybe even, you know, a little worse. Um in case you missed the last video, we did have a bunch of trades at the trade deadline. Uh, we got Archer, uh, we got Yimi Garcia from the Dodgers, relief pitcher. Uh, Freeman went down with a torn ACL, he's done for the year. Um, other than that, I mean, I thought we got some more guys. Oh, we got Caleb Coart from uh, the Angels, one of their, I think he's their best third base prospect. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if he's in their top 10 or not, to be honest. Um, I guess that's really all we pulled in there. I felt like we made a lot more deals than that. But our t oh wait, we actually got where is he at? We got Kiki Hernandez too. Uh, great contact hitter. He can play anywhere on the field. Uh, two sixty six career average, three twenty six on base, and all that good stuff. Uh, so really, I mean, we we definitely got younger. We definitely freed up a lot of money. Uh, I think we have about twenty three million dollars available now so you know that's that's always a plus heading into this off season uh archer has been fabulous ever since coming over from the rays um our starting rotation is actually not done too bad really besides julio tehran or tehran um i mean he almost he has a 430 era and a 140 whip i mean those aren't good numbers but i mean as you see like archer whistler uh, ben Walos, he's done. He hasn't had that long of a season, but he's done really well for the time that he's been up. And then Hernandez, he was actually doing really well, like really, really, really well in the beginning of the season. He had under a three for an ERA, and he's kind of slipping here now. Uh, Vizcaino has struggled as our closer. Um, there have, you know, our bullpen has actually done a pretty good job though for the most part. I mean, Ogando, he's really brought that ERA down. So, and then in, in our lineup. I mean, like I said, I mean, Pruszynski has done really well. Kemp has done really well. Uh, Fernandez is struggling. Uh, Garcia is doing okay. Uh, Ozzy Albies, like I said, I'm, I actually called up some of the kids. Uh, Albies is up. He's hitting 270 right now through 70 at bats, so he's doing pretty well for himself. Gordon Beckham has had a really good season so far, hitting 275, 10 home runs, and 40 RBIs, basically. No one on the bench has been too impressive. Um, and then... Swanson, Guriel, uh, Coart, Ruiz, there, and Malik Smith are all in AAA right now. So hopefully, you know, they'll do well. I'm, I'm kind of hoping to get St. Dansby Swanson maybe 100 or so at-bats on the big league level before the season is over. And the same for uh, Guriel. He's, uh, Swanson was tearing it up in double A, and then once I made room for Albies to be called up, after getting rid of Avilas, I went ahead and called Albies up. So I'm hoping to, you know, get Swanson up sometime soon. Um, if Jose Miguel Fernandez keeps struggling, and I'm really just going to give these guys around 100 at bats apiece. Uh, I might give Albies a little bit more since he's doing pretty well. But like him, I'll probably, Fernandez, I'll probably give him 30 or so more at bats. And then let Swanson get some, you know, 100 at bats. And Gurriel some at bats as well. Just to get everyone at bats. And, you know, just let them have exposure to big league pitching and all that good stuff. So that's really it. I mean, I'm, I'm not really going to play too many more games, guys, to be honest. And like I've said before, like this season, the priority is not playing games. This season, the priority is getting younger. This season, the priority is rebuilding. This season, the priority is, you know, giving Swanson, Fernandez, Albies, Gurriel, all those guys about 100 at bats or so a piece just to like kind of, you know, ease them in to the big leagues. You can't just throw them right into the big leagues right after spring training for a full year and expect them to dominate and hit 300. 
Like, look at Chris Bryant for the Cubs. They had to wait for, you know, to call him up. But, of course, you know, that was for, you know, contract reasons and organizational reasons. But even Russell, they had to wait to call him up for a little bit. You know, you have to handle these guys with kids' gloves. You know, you can't, you can't just throw them in and expect them to be fantastic is really what I'm trying to say. So that's really it for now. Like I said, I'm going to sim ahead. Um, you guys will probably see me back maybe towards the end of August, maybe into September, you know, somewhere in this area right here, uh, maybe for this Mets series on the road. Just kind of just trying to get this season over with. I mean, obviously, it's just a rebuilding year. There's nothing to, you know, I've made all my moves. I don't think I'm really going to make any uh, waiver line or waiver deals. So other than that, that's really it, guys, for this episode. Like I said, the next episode, I'll come back. I'll, I'll be simmed ahead, so I'll be farther down the line. Uh, that's really it, though. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next episode.